Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to do the agentless real user monitoring in Dynatrace. In our previous video, we already discussed about how to do the real user monitoring with the help of one agent. So as soon as you install the one agent on the server, it starts detecting all the applications and even it is also doing the real user monitoring of it. But in some situation, we may get the requirement that they will not allow the one agent installation but still they want to do the real user monitoring. In such cases, how we can do that we will talk about it. So right now I have connected to the Dynatrace console in the search installed apps type agentless real user monitoring. So as soon as I type agent, here you are able to find an option called agentless real user monitoring. Just click on that option so that it will go to the next page. It will offer some configuration based on that it will start the monitoring. In this demo, I don't have any application for that purpose. What I did, I have created one small HTML file so that when you run that HTML file, for example, this is the name of it. Hello, Dynatrace RAM. If I double click on this file so that it will connect to the a browser and it will show this particular data. Hello world, Dynatrace RAM test. This is a simple test for real user monitoring. So based on this, I'm going to explain how to do the agentless real user monitoring. So I'm coming back to Dynatrace console. So this is how it looks like agentless real user monitoring and here we need to provide the name of our application. For example, I will give it here demo my web app. This is up to our choice to decide the name. So once you provide the name, just click on add a web application so that it will create one JavaScript that we need to copy and install it on our HTML pages wherever we want to do the real user monitoring. We want, we should add that particular JavaScript in the HTML pages. Okay. So what I will do, I'll just click on this copy JavaScript tag. Okay. I'm going to copy this one. And then what I will do, I will go to our web page. For example, this is my web page. I will edit with the help of notepad. And then we need to provide this particular JavaScript tag in the HTML header. Okay. I just added our JavaScript here. So that whenever you run this particular web page, that information you are going to capture inside the Dynatrace. Why I am doing like this? Because I don't have any real application in my laptop. To show you guys, I have created this one. If you want, you can just create the same kind of HTML page and do the testing. So I have added my JavaScript here. I will just save this information. Okay. Not save as it should be save file and then click on save. Now our HTML file is completely ready. Okay. So what I will do now, I will start opening that particular page multiple times so that our directories can able to communicate that. How you will able to see that information right now clearly telling waiting for the user actions and this is in the different color. So let me try to open that particular web page multiple times. For example, I'll keep on click this particular web page multiple times okay now it is opening the top html page and you are able to see the data let me open again our file explorer and double click on that file and open it one more time i will do multiple times like this so that our directories can get this data to monitor it okay so i have opened multiple times let me go back to our console still it is waiting for user actions let me try few more times so that it can capture the data. So everything, I am just opening that particular HTML page, nothing else. So that it will try to establish the connection. Okay. So now let me go back to Dynatrace console. Yeah. Now you can see, right? Now our application monitoring is started. Now the status is changed to green color. Earlier it was in the warning state. Now it is in the healthy state. How it is changed it to healthy state? Because we have done... Uh, because we have done some of the real user actions there. What we have done, we have opened that particular application. You can say our web page so that it is captured the information in the Dynatrace. How we have done that? We just went into the agentless real user monitoring section and then we have copied this JavaScript tag and added this particular JavaScript tag into our HTML pages. So as soon as you added the HT, uh, data into the HTML pages, you are able to get the data. Please make sure to remember that our JavaScript tag should be added near to the head. It should always present 
near to the head that is what the recommendation given by the dyna trace now what i will do i want to see the informations whether it is captured or not properly i want to see that what we can do for that here we will find an option called view web application or view application just click on that so that it will directly go into our front end page or the application page where it will show the data clearly like from which browser you are connecting that applications and are they real users or bot and from which location they are connecting how much time it is taking to load the page what is the overall app dex rating for that application and what is the xhr ratings for that it is going to give the clear information and also is there any errors so like that it is going to give the detailed information without installing the dynatrace one agent how we have achieved this one just by adding the javascript into the html pages through the agentless real user monitoring now what i will do i'll just change uh, this last two hours to last 30 minutes so that we are able to get the data clearly okay now i have changed to last 30 minutes now i will just click on this option whatever is appearing here these all are clickable if you click on that below it will give the more detailed information about it now what i did i click on the browser option so it will tell what browser we are using right now it is telling we are using the desktop and how much time it is taking to load that page 4.2 seconds and is there any error no what is the xhr action in that right now there is no xhr action involved in that what is xhr it is just like double click drag all those things right now we are not doing anything right we are just opening the web page that's what it is not showing any value for the xhr so like that if i double click or if i click on this particular one desktop so it will tell inside the desktop what browser we are using right now i am in the microsoft edge that is why it is giving the microsoft edge suppose if you use the chrome then it will give the chrome information as well here like that you can get the more detailed information and then if i scroll back and then click on this one real users are the top user types it is going to tell whether uh, real users are connecting or is there any bots are connecting that information it will give for example now it is clearly telling all the users who were connected to this particular web page are real because i am only connecting right i am the real user so that it is giving 100 percent of real users if any bots were there then this percentage will reduce 90 percent 80 percent something like that if you want to analyze more about this one then click on analyze performance option you will get the detailed data now i click on this third option that is view geolocation what it means from where i mean for which from which location i am connecting that particular web page right now i am connecting from asia then india then karnataka then from the bengaluru location so like that it is going to give the detailed information so if any users are connecting to this web page apart from bangalore then that information also get stored here from this we can clearly understand about the traffic from which location traffic is high asia or africa or america so that we can clearly get the picture about the traffic information right then uh, what is the next option load action load action what is load action how much time it is taking to load that particular web page it is taking 4.2 seconds to load that one so that's what it is giving the information in the tabular format as well you can see right uh, visually complete 4.16 seconds total load action is 6 per minute load action per minute with visually complete is 5 per minute okay so this is how you can do the agentless real user monitoring so whenever you are doing with your real time environment so you should talk to your developers and provide the pro provide the particular javascript to them so then they will insert that javascript tag inside the html pages so that it will start monitoring all the data whatever you want like that you will get the information about the xhr as well and if there are any errors it will give that information as well then here comes the appdex rating what is appdex rating it is going to give the overall performance of our application it will be the value from 0 to 1 if it is closer to 1 that means our application is performing very well if the value is less than 1 it will start giving the different different namings for that like 0 to 0 0.5 is different 0 0.6 is different like that it is categorizing as you can see on my screen it is giving the different different namings for that but overall if the value is towards the one that is really good behavior of our application 
so this is about the performance analysis like that you will get the information about the user behavior also like all users all user types all the information will be captured in this particular section like this you can switch the things between the performance analysis and user behavior and then the same data you can use in the dashboards and you can create the beautiful dashboards for the customers or for your analysis purpose so that it will create a different different matrix for you and you need to add that matrix in the dashboard like already you might have watched my uh, dashboard related video in that i clearly explain how to go into the matrix and how to extract the matrix for load action or for the cpu usage or for the synthetic monitoring if you are not yet to watch that video i will provide the details in the description box please do watch that one so that you will get the complete idea on how to create the dashboard in the dynatrace okay and then if i scroll down you will see the top three pages right now you are able to see only one this is on my laptop but in the real time environment you are going to get the exact url details which is the top three here okay right now it is just a path it is giving like see user admin downloads whatever the place i have stored that particular html file right that information it is giving here if i go into the download section you will find that right right now it is there here no the right me let me right click and go to the properties and you will see the same path see user admin downloads here also see user admin downloads but in the real time you will get the actual url details and if you scroll down you will see is there any problems what are the top user actions were performed and is there any events like that you can get the detailed information i will create one more video on how to analyze all the matrices inside the applications but in this video i have covered how to set up the agentless monitoring or how to set up the agentless monitoring with the help of javascript tab okay very simple steps you should go into the apps and then search for the agentless or else you should go into the applications folder and at the right hand side you will see three dots just click on that here you will find an option called setup agentless monitoring and if you as soon as you click on that it will go to the next page where it will ask for the application name and then do the agentless monitoring for example if i want to add one more let me put it on my name rudra gauda okay so this is my new web application name okay then click on add web application so that it will create one javascript tag for you you can see right copy javascript tag copy this one and then go to your web pages and add that for example in my environment i have created one more html file where you can see little more information than the hello dynatrace ram i have stored somewhere here let me see that yeah here it is what it will do if i double click on this one it will open the web page where it will show some detailed information like server all those things let me open that one so that you will get the idea you can see right dynatrace ram xhr and drag drop test if i click on load uh, server list it will uh, list the list of servers here then you can copy this one and paste it here copy this one and paste it here whatever the action i am performing here everything is will get records into the dynatrace when you have enabled the agentless monitoring how to enable that one simple just go through, go to that particular web application and then right click that particular html file then edit with the notepad plus plus or whatever the one you feel comfortable then below the head add that particular javascript tag that's it as soon as you add the information will start monitoring inside the dynatrace okay once you are ready with all the information then it will change what started the real user monitoring like clicking all those things on that particular application that information it will come automatically here how it will come with the help of this particular javascript tag okay so once everything is done you are able to see the complete data here like load actions what are the errors what are the user behavior from which locations you are monitoring all the information you will get to. okay all the information you will get to know okay then i'll again go back to my previous screen and i'll click it on just front end so these are the applications i have created if you are not interested or if you want to delete the application from the monitoring for that what you can do just click on the monitoring settings option so then select that particular application name and delete it for example i don't want to monitor this particular application by the name rudra gauda just click on this expand option uh, expand option then click on remove 
and if you want to modify anything in that case just take use of this edit application right now i am showing for the removing so i will click on remove so that's it click on yes it will go automatically from the monitoring hope you have a complete idea now how to set up the agentless real user monitoring and how to delete the application from the monitoring so yeah that's it for today's class thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now